हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सत्य प्रकाश वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज पार्ट 26 ऑफ एंगुलर इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस हाउ टू कंपाइल एंगुलर एप्लीकेशन सो बिफोर गोइंग थ्रू दिस पार्ट 26 प्लीज विजिट माय पार्ट 25 व्हाट इज एनजी सर्व ऑप्शन विद वॉच लाइब्रेरी लोड एंड पोर्ट सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस फ्यू पॉइंट्स दैट इज डिस्कस ऑन प्रोड्यूसिंग बिल्स बोथ फॉर डेवलपमेंट एंड प्रोडक्शन यूज and what are the differences between ng-serve and ng-build command so guys this is the path of my angular project and in in the angular in the uh, command prompt i have mapped to this directory that is the path of my angular project and here is my angular uh, project file and folders that is satya angular cli all right and uh, so in this video we'll discuss how to compile angular application along with the way we discuss producing builds both for development and production use also we'll also discuss the differences between ng serve and ng build commands so guys i already have discussed about ng serve commands this command builds and serves the application from memory for faster development experiences so ng serve commands does does not write the build files to the disk so we cannot use it for deploying our application on a different server for example if we want to deploy our application to a test staging or production server we cannot use ng sub command for this we we need to use a different command that is ng build command so guys uh, when we execute ng build command it creates the folder with name dist and copies all the build files into that folder right so this is the path here it will create a dist folder and all the build related files will be available in that folder only so now the question comes that uh, why is the folder named dist so the folder named dist because that is what is specified as the output directory uh, you can see this is the angular.json here the dist folder is is there right output path uh, here is the output path for build in angular CLI configuration right it is nothing but output directory for for the build in angular CLI configuration file so we notice that this uh, output path property is set to dist so whatever build files it will create a dist folder and inside dist folder it will create the satya angular CLI same to my angular project and in this folder it will be all the build files will, will be available in that folder in that folder so we can recognize uh, where is the dist folder in angular.json file using this property called output path okay so by default the ng build command does a development build not a production build the development build is not optimized for production use the development build is typically is used for testing uh, with a development build it is easier to debug as the development build contains the source map files so guys here ng build command uh, on my i'll execute the ng build command here so ng build and press enter so guys here we can see the uh, build process is executed successfully right and here the related files you can see with the green marks right because it is all the files it generated during builders uh, um, during building process of our angular project so ng build command on my machine produce the these files in the dist folder so we need to go to uh, my uh, path of the project right here you can see one dist folder is created right on this date so if you open this dist folder there is one more folder satya angular cli and if you click on it there is many files has been created whatever files you can see here in a build build process right and uh, there is index html main javascript file polyfills runtime styles and vendor all right so guys here you can see uh, that the dist folder we have these files right and there is also uh, bundle files and corresponding uh, source map files right but so bundle files is nothing but main is the bundle file and main.js.map is the source file the same thing in polyfills same thing in runtime same is in styles 
and same in in is in vendor right and along with we have the fab icon and there is index.html file right our host page so this is the all the files and folders files uh, with bundle files and with the source map files so guys I need I'll go to my command prompt here here there is same command for development that both the following commands are equivalent and does the same thing that is they produce a development build so earlier we we run this uh, you know use this command ng build so if you want to use for development it is same as ng build by default it takes as development right so both the commands is same so it it does the same thing and these are equivalent and they produce the development development build so if you want to deploy the application to a server like live server or production server you just uh, copy the content of this folder to a folder on a server if, if there is development server or is there in it a test server or QA server you just copy these files uh, just remove this command before that okay you just copy this dist folder right whatever we have created and uh, we'll discuss the deployment in detail in my next videos so guys the bundle files is nothing but the inline main polyfills styles and vendor right so here we, you have noticed one thing styles is the CSS file if you go to my project you can see styles is the CSS file right here but while we build our application by the it will take styles as a javascript file dot js same thing in source map as well styles dot js dot map file it is the linked address map file all, all right so uh, so guys here uh, this this all the bundle files and the you know address map files uh, these are generated by the development build are not optimized meaning that th these bundles are not minified or tree set to remove the code that is not being used a production build on the other hand will have all the performance optimization technique like ahead of time or aot compilation minification uglification and tree setting implemented so the sizes of the bundles that the build that the production build produces will be significantly less than the size of bundles that a dev build produces right so to do a production build we need to use one command here so guys one thing to remember while we use the execute this command ng build for production then this all files will be replaced with the production files right this development files will be automatically removed and it will be replaced by the production files so here I just go I just uh, use this command ng build use for production so ng build dash dash prod all right so guys here to do a production build use dash dash prod option with the ng build command so ng build command with dash dash prod option on my machine produce the files in the dist and in inside dist inside there is one more folders and satyangular cli so in this path it will create all the files so we need to execute this command so here we can see the build process for production is done successfully right and if you if you go to this path of uh, you know there is a satyangla cli if you go here and you can see inside uh, there is one okay this list folder inside satyangla cli you can see this is all files are production files and whatever files we have created earlier for development purpose those files are replaced with the production files right here you just uh, you can see the differences between the production files and development files right so now we, we can see the uh, production files all right so we notice the file size of production build are significantly less than the size of the development build so with the production build by default we don't ha we don't get 
the source map files right here you can see there is no dot js dot map files but in in uh, development uh, there is some files called uh, like this here you can see main dot js and say and the for the for this main dot js bundle file there is one map file is there right main dot js dot map file same way for vendor dot js there is one map file vendor dot js dot map for pro this is for development files but here you can see there is no bundle files here for main dot js there is no bundle no poly no bundle for polyfills no bundle for styles no bundle for runtime all right and uh, also we notice one more thing is uh, okay now one more thing with the production build by default we don't have the source map files because we don't need the we don't need the, these uh, source map files on a production server that's what uh, while we execute the command for production the production command is not created the source map files for the bundles or uh, there is no bundle files because it, it is not required to uh, for production server right that's what it, it is not creating the uh, source map files also notice one more thing for a production build it will extract css from global styles into a uh, you can see css right instead of a js1 but for uh, development you can see for styles it was in javascript format or js format right styles.js and its map file is styles.js.map all right because and in production you can see styles uh, styles uh, file it is in css right so production build extract css from global styles into a css file instead of js ones all right and also you can see some uh, size right uh, size of production build as significantly less than the size of production uh, development build all right you can see for uh, uh, this one you can take an example of styles all right so you can see styles.js it is the size is 12.9 kb but here styles.css uh, there is there is zero bytes all right and uh, and one more thing there is uh, on develop on development side polyfills.js the size is 141 kb but for in production polyfills.js size is only 36 kb all right and for runtime.js in uh, development there is 6.15 kb but for production runtime.js there is only 1.45 kb and beside the file you can you can see what is the purpose behind this file for runtime it is for runtime and it is a main file it is a polyfills file it is a styles file so same thing we can see in development also right so guys this is all about what the difference between ng build ng build for dev and ng build for production and also we have noticed the file sizes uh, in both the production build and development build and for and the what are the difference between the files ha are created in uh, development build and production build and uh, difference between the st style css format in uh, development build and uh, in production build so development build styles uh, contains the js format but in uh, production build it will uh, extract the css from global into a css instead of a js ones right all right so we'll uh, see the next one is what are the difference between a dev uh, build and a production build so uh, we just go to my presentation so this is uh, this is for we already have discussed about that is what the difference between dev build and production build in this path right uh, by uh, by uh, discussing this th um, uh, three points that is uh, point number is point number one is size and point number two is uh, source map files is not available in uh, production because it's not required for production server and third one is uh, that is production build extract css from global styles into a css file instead of just ones but for development the css uh, the css file that is style.css 
is available in the form of D js file right here you can see in the in the development build there is styles.js and the related map file but uh, in production the styles is in a css format all right guys then we we need to discuss about difference between uh, ng serve and ng build command so ng serve is it compiles and serves the application from memory and but ng build compiles the application to the dist folder and uh, ng serve does not write the build file to the to the disk and ng build can be used to produce both the development and production builds ng serve typically used to run the application on local development machine but ng build it is used to deploy the application on another server like production uh, QA server staging server and it cannot be used for deploying the build to another server like testing staging and production but ng build it is possible in ng build all right so guys that's all about for today thank you for listening have a great day please don't uh, forget to subscribe and share my channel uh, to get the updated knowledge on dotnet dotnet core csr sql server angular and devops thank you guys